but the same God that is holy loved us so much that he sent his son that we could be forgiven because there's a day of judgment coming and God is calling the world to repentance let's walk, let's walk and he calls us to repentance because he loves us he doesn't want to have to judge us but he will not leave the guilty unpunished and we are all guilty before holy God the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God this is the word of God this is what we need to find out and read it's God's word to us it's his promises gives us the gospel how could we be saved from the wrath to come Jesus Christ is coming again and he's calling the world to repentance he's calling us to turn from our sin to repent and turn to God God wants to give us his mercy and his mercy came through Jesus Christ God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life God sent his son into this world not to condemn the world but that through Jesus Christ the world could be saved are you saved? have you received the gift of eternal life? this is a gift that God is extending to us but we must receive it and the Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead that you will be saved Jesus Christ is coming again and he's coming to judge the living and the dead we are living in the last days everything that Jesus said is coming to pass he said we will see wars we will hear we will hear rumors of wars there will be earthquakes natural disasters will increase all the things that are written in the Bible are happening because God, God is calling us to repentance he's calling us to come to him to receive salvation to receive the gift of God it's by grace through faith that we can be saved it's not of our works God is not willing that we would perish he gave us his son that we can live and Jesus said these words he said I am the resurrection and the life he said he who believes in me even though he dies he will live Jesus said I am the door he who enters in through me he will be saved Jesus is the one way to life there is one God and one mediator between God and man the man Christ Jesus Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life nobody will go to the Father but through Jesus Christ he calls us to come to him he calls us to receive life eternal life in the kingdom of God this is what God wants for us and Jesus said he said unless we remain as children unless we remain as children we will not enter into the kingdom of God because a good child is receptive is, is listening to his father's voice and we all have a heavenly father that knows what's best for us 
So we must remain as children before him. God bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. And he's calling us. He, he's calling us to come to him. Jesus said, come to me. All you that are weary, heavy laden, I will give you rest. Have you found rest for your soul? Jesus Christ is the only one that can give us true peace. Because he's alive. He's no longer dead on the cross. He's no longer a baby. He's the king of kings and lord of lords. The same king that loved you. The same king that gave his life for us. The lamb of God that was killed for our sins. Is, is calling us to come to him. This is the love that God has demonstrated towards us. That while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The innocent Lamb of God died for our sins. He died and he was buried. And on the third day he rose to life. He's alive. The Bible says to call upon his name and you shall be saved this is the gospel the good news that Jesus Christ is alive and his kingdom is coming repent and believe the gospel and you can receive his mercy in your life this is God's love towards us receive it tonight in Jesus name God bless you and may God bless Belgrade and may God bless Serbia in Jesus name Amen, Amen.